functions are the building blocks of real world applications. They make it so we can reuse the code that we write and they help us organize our code into smaller pieces so that it's all easier to keep track of. Let's take a look at this example, a function that calculates the area of a circle. It takes the radius of a circle as input in meters, we'll be using the metric system for this example. And when it's done, it will return the area of the circle in meters squared. Here's the code that defines the area of circle function. If all we do is define the function, it won't actually do anything. We have to call the function in order for it to execute. Let's call it with a radius of five as the input. Now, when the function is called, execution jumps back to the function definition. A new variable that's only available inside the function called pi is created with a value of 3.14. Next, we save the result of pi times r times r to a new variable called result. The area of a circle is pi r squared after all. Finally, we return the result from the function as its output. Execution jumps back to the function call at this point, and we capture the return value in a new variable called area. And if we want to, we can just print it. The best part is that we can then call it again with a different input getting the associated output and we can do it again and again and again as many times as we want. 